going to put all this stuff away now. <laughs> look, at the rest, look at the rest of my office. It's a, it's a wreck in here. I just <laughs> turned all this stuff off. Right Hello. Kaylin, my boy. How are you? I don't like to say, I don't like to focus on myself. I'm not that guy. Uh-huh. Uh, but I'm doing absolutely wonderful. Well, for the next couple minutes, we're going to focus on you because you are nominated. Now, how does that feel? Oh, we're nominated this year? Oh, Is yeah. Right? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't really even realize. <laughs> I mean, I just usually assume. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be <laughs> I just, just kind of like, I, it's, I feel great. I feel great about it, you know? Right. Great, great. Now tell me, how did epic rap battles of history begin? Epic rap battles of history, it's kind of always been there. It's uh -huh. kind of always been there. It's sort of like the alpha, the omega, the ERB. It's it's okay. just always been around. It started with a little battle called Bill O'Reilly versus John Lennon, and it's just taken off from there. Cain and Abel, John Lennon, <laughs> Bill O'Reilly, same, same. Okay, okay. Now what made you want to turn it into a web series? The world. The world basically made it the only thing we could do, Kalen. <laughs> that was it. There was a demand and you met the demand. It was, you're right. It, you know, cause we are, we are at your service is uh -huh. really what it is. It's uh -huh. really about the world and the people. And so we just did what they had demanded. Love it. I love to see that. I love that you adapted to your audience and made it work for, you know, everybody and made everybody happy. That's important when you're working in this business. It's what we do. It's what we do. I, you know, I'm so glad that you get it. You get it, Kaylin. I don't, do. Don't let these Hollywood people influence you. Don't let them ruin your flame. You know, it's, you got it. Right. Now tell me, which Epic Rap Battles character is your favorite? Hmm. You know what? To keep it real, I have to say all of them. Okay. They're all children. They're, it's like choosing your favorite child even though your eldest is usually your favorite also would be my favorite uh -huh. but i just have to say all of them and if you were in a battle it would be you well thank you i appreciate that now how many times have you been to the streaming awards who knows how many streaming awards have there been how many times what number are we on 10 this is 10 10 for 10 10 10 10 10 streaming awards now i see all those awards behind you how many do you have what this? Oh, I didn't even know the. I didn't even know those were there on the wall. What a cool! How weird, Kaylin. Weird. I don't know. I just. It was a weird thing, you know. I was kind of putting my room together, and I moved this picture of the president to put a gold record there. It's like I don't know. It's odd. Kind of odd. So who knows? I mean, I see after, you were wearing one around your neck. No way. <laughs> I didn't think you. I didn't think you would notice. I, I was trying to keep it subtle. I really was just kind of. I usually don't, I only wear this to bed and when I go to the bank to try okay. to get a loan, you know? So okay. it's kind of a thing. So, I do like your jacket though, the gold, the, the leopard gold print. Thank you. You know, I, I had to be festive. I had to be shiny in spirit of the streaming awards. We seem to have the same amount of love for the streaming awards. I mean, you got them all over the place in your house. Well, talk about it. <laughs> so tell me, after we are free from this pandemic that we are living in currently, what is next for you? What do you want to do next? You know, uh, what I miss most is my volunteer work at the orphanage. To be honest, it's really about people who are underprivileged. I miss tutoring young YouTubers on how to make a hit video. That's what I really want to do. And after that, probably I'll just donate blood. Full-time, donate oh. blood. Every day? Every day that I can, every day that they'll let me. You know, I've walked in before and they turned me away. They said, you can't do it today. You've given okay. too much blood, Lloyd. You've yeah, I'd be a little concerned that you may get a little lightheaded. I get a little light skinned. You know, okay. I get, they, get, they look at it in my face. I look right. like, I look too, and I say, you know what? Take it, <laughs> take my blood. That's all I want to do. So oh my I'm gosh, oh my gosh. So now that you know that you're nominated, what does it mean to you? How does it feel? Well, mostly I just want to thank and give a congratulation to the other nominees. Like, good job, you guys, you know, you won't win, but like, congratulations oh. for being nominated. Uh, it's like, I, you know, Rhett and Link Sausage and Mark a pair of pliers and Liza Cozy or whatever, you know, they're really, they're cute. They're great. They're gonna be really good YouTubers one day. Yeah. So I just immediately think of other people. That's really what it's about for me. I, I love that. I love that you don't like it to be on you. I love that you like- I mean, 
take the lighting I, out. I'm not that guy, Kaylin. I'm not. I'm not that guy. You're right. You are absolutely right. Well, congratulations on your nomination. Okay, we wish the best of luck to everybody else in the category as well. But congratulations, and we hope to see you live and in person next year. How's that sound? That sounds very good, Kaylin. Congratulations and thank you. Thank you. Have a wonderful night. Thank you so much. <laughs>